Dan, great to talk with you. When you look at the gains in Bitcoin, it doesn't seem like anything is stopping it at this point, rallying above 44,000 for the first time. But when it comes to Tesla and the news that we got out of there, buying $1.5 billion worth of Bitcoin, what do you think of this and what does it mean for the cryptocurrency? Yeah, it's a whole process of institutions getting engaged. There are other public companies that you just went across that have bought Bitcoin. Tesla's obviously, you know, a market leader, very disruptive uh, thought leader. Buying 1.5 billion of Bitcoin is just going to encourage more companies to put some Bitcoin on their balance sheet. So I, I get Bitcoin as an investment. I get it as an alternative, perhaps, to secure your wealth than, say, gold or the more traditional investments. But, you know, it, it's almost like they've created a fiat currency without a government. And it would, it, it almost, I'm still trying to get what the point is. I know Tesla's going to accept it as payment. But what happens when a central bank somewhere in the world says no more because of the illegal activity that goes on with Bitcoin and the way people use crypto for to money launder and those kinds of things? Oh, if the governments today had the choice of accepting either Bitcoin or cash, there's no way they would accept cash. Criminals use cash all the time for crimes, and it's a very, very tiny fraction of Bitcoins actually used for crimes. It has a permanent paper trail of every trade that's ever been done. That's a terrible feature for committing crimes. Well, Dan, what do you think it does, though, for the price of Bitcoin? Then I know you've been very bullish on Bitcoin. I believe in your January newsletter, you were saying that it could go all the way to 115000 Now, with a big name like Tesla buying in, raising even more awareness, is it going to climb above 115000 You know, it has been growing at 213% a year for 10 years, and it's right on pace to keep doing that. We believe it's going to hit 115,000 at some point this year and then higher in the future. So, you know, we're very bullish. So what about the other cryptocurrencies? I mean, because we always talk about Bitcoin because it's worth so much. But should we be ignoring them? Should we be paying attention to them? And what would we look at uh, for those of us who don't understand the fundamentals of how to choose one? Yeah, it's important that there isn't just Bitcoin. Bitcoin's 60% of the entire market, but there are very important other currencies like Ethereum, Polkadot that you mentioned earlier. Um, and they have the potential to outperform in a bull market. Obviously, when markets uh, go up, the mega caps can't go up as much as the smaller caps. Uh, and the converse is true. When it's a bear market, they go down more. So we're very bullish on the DeFi, de uh, decentralized finance tokens that can probably go up more than Bitcoin over the next uh, rally. And for example, our liquid token fund is 62% long things that are not Bitcoin or Ethereum, the two largest tokens. Dan, Dan I want to get back to something you said about the ability to track criminal activity with cryptocurrency and with Bitcoin. If that's the case, and I'm not a naysayer on cryptocurrency, but if that's the case, why do hackers, when they take over government systems or when they take over computers within businesses, to ban payment in crypto and in Bitcoin? Oh, some, some hackers do do that. Uh, presumably, they're ones that are in countries like Russia that are, are hard for the U.S. authorities to reach. Uh, but, you know, that's a story that's it's very popular to talk about crime using Bitcoin. The Silk Road guy, <clears throat> of course, used Bitcoin. Um, everyone knows that, but he's in prison because of it. And there were actually two U.S. federal agents that were on the Silk Road task force that went rogue and were extorting money from him and other criminals. And they were using Bitcoin and they were turned in uh, and are doing time 10 years each. You know, it's just a terrible thing to commit a crime using something with a permanent paper trail of every trade you've ever done. Dan, we have to ask you about Dogecoin. We asked you about some of the other cryptocurrencies, but Musk has been tweeting about that. Snoop Dogg over the weekend, Gene Simmons. I mean, the list goes on when you take into account the number of celebrities that at this point are weighing in on Dogecoin. Some are out there equating it to what we saw in GameStop. How are you viewing it? Yeah, I love a lot of those artists, but I'm not sure I take financial advice uh, straight <laughs> from, from those sources. So um, most, I think even some of the people you're talking about are, are doing it because it's fun to talk about. And it's definitely the funnest cryptocurrency to talk about. But it is noteworthy when uh, Tesla Motors filed with the SEC, they filed to buy Bitcoin. They're not buying anything else. 